what's up guys so I finally I finally did it I, I'm getting I'm slowly slowly getting off the Venice bandwagon and uh, it, it's it's not that I hate Venice's writing per se um, I know that everybody else hates them and uh you know they're 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 you know it's okay for them to have their opinion uh and i don't necessarily disagree with some of the things they say um but i do disagree with others um i think he's a fine writer as far as what i've read um but i've just action comics has not been interesting uh the la the the first few issues I enjoyed personally, but the last few issues have just been, I just didn't care. Um, that there was no, there was nothing in there that really made me care about anything that was going on. I'm enjoying Superman other than the fact that I feel like he's ruining the, the soup family. <laughs> other than the fact that he's ruining everything I love about the characters. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but I am enjoying the story. Um, I'm hoping that he'll de-age Jonathan. That would be awesome. Um, because I really love the, the characters, uh, Tomasi created him. Well, didn't create him, but, but basically made him, uh, the way he was. Really love it. I uh, love the adventures of Super Sons that Tomasi's doing now. Um. And so, I really don't like him being made older just like that. Like, what's the purpose? And I don't like what's going on with the uh, uh, marriage of of Clark, Lo, uh, Lois and Clark. I really hate that. Um, I mean, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Um, so, like, Lois is being illogical with her job. And it's just like, why? You know, it, it makes no sense that she would, some reason, need to live separately from him, but then see him and be with him all the time. Uh, and it's like, like now he's living in a hotel with her. Basically, it's what? Like, if she wanted a an office to herself, she has an office to herself, pretty much. Why does she now need a hotel room? It ridiculous it's it's stupid it makes no sense um anyways I, to be honest it, until each issue of action comics came out i remembered nothing about it that there was nothing in action comics that really stuck out for me to wonder what was going on um i had nothing uh there was some something about a fire that happened at the beginning, and then they kind of moved away from that. Now it was some red cloud lady that we guessed from the beginning. It's, I don't know. Like, so I'm just like, it's it's boring. It's really boring. Um, there there's nothing to it. Um, I enjoyed the first few issues again. I I, I did. Um, but the later issues just, it just got less and less exciting. So I'm dropping it. Sorry, Bennis. Uh, I still enjoyed Young Justice, even though I think a lot of people didn't. I really enjoyed it. Uh, and of course I'm probably biased and I'm enjoying some of the storytelling in Superman, even though there's some things that either don't make sense or I don't like. So I haven't left that bandwagon yet. Um, so I'm not completely off, but if Superman keeps going the way it's going, it's it's going to be me getting off. It's really sad because I was really disappointed when they took Tomasi off Superman to give it to, to Bendis. And uh, all the signs pointed toward awful. Okay. In my opinion. And uh, there were a bunch of other people that I heard saying stuff like that too. And then when I actually read Man of Steel, I loved it. I thought it was great. Um, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed a lot of the Superman stuff, um, but I had that fear in the back of my head once we learned that uh, um, that 
the uh, the Superman's father was coming back and he was taking John and Lois with him. I was like, here we go. <laughs> it's the downfall, and and we basically gotten there. We basically gotten there. So that's my thoughts. Uh, I'm leaving Action Comics. Uh, I'm slowly getting off business. Uh, again, I am still doing Young Justice for now. See how well it goes. He introduced the characters really well, I thought. Um, so, although some of them still don't make sense, uh, you're going to have to explain Teen Lantern. I'm not opposed to a new Lantern, but it needs to have a good, she needs to have a good, a really believable and understandable uh, uh, origin story. I don't, I, I, I can't think of, of any reason for there to be a teenage Lantern when we've already got, oh, I don't know, five, six? Green Lanterns from Earth. Why do we need another one? I don't know. Like, uh, I know Jessica Cruz is gone. I, they haven't done anything with Simon Baez. Where is he right now? Uh, Kyle Rayner is floating around. Oh, well, he was in Justice League Odyssey. Uh, or, no, no, he was in Titans, which they canceled. So, that's not going to keep going. Um, so, who knows where Jon Stewart... Well, he's in Justice League. So, Guy, Guy Garner, Simon Baez, and, again... Kyle Rayner or MIA. So you got three big just, uh, Green Lanterns that they haven't killed off. And so the question is why do we need another one, a new one? I don't know. So you're going to have to explain that. But uh, for now, slowly taking steps off the Bendis train. Um, again, I don't think he's as bad as everybody keeps making him. Uh, but uh, he's not Tomasi. <laughs> there are better writers than him, uh, for sure. So, Bendis, I want you to do better, man. Um, you've done some good stuff, and I've liked it. But some of the recent stuff, I haven't enjoyed the way it's going. So, let's go back to the drawing board. Go back to what you were doing. Uh, keep doing what you're doing in Young Justice. It's good. At least the first issue that I read. So, let me know what you think. Do you hate Bendis? Do you love him? Uh, do you agree with me that he's kind of in the middle somewhere? Um, let me know. I'm, I'm curious to see where everybody's at. And uh, let me know, uh, are you following the Action Comics and, and su uh, the Superman run from him or, or Young Justice, you know, or any of the other business ones? Because those are the only two business ones that I'm doing. I, Naomi doesn't look good to me. And, uh, or, uh, and then... I, the Wonder Twins are in the Bendis world, but aren't aren't written by him, and it looks dumb. I read the 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 preview; it, looked, it was boring. I, I barely could get through it because the dialogue was so dumb. Um, that's just my thoughts. Uh, it's late, so I'm a little more <laughs> open right now uh, than I usually am. Um, anyways, let me know what you think. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to let you join the family, and uh, we can regularly talk about comic books. And yeah, leave us a like, leave us a comment, and we will catch you next time. Peace.